Amber, what's the biggest, uh, I guess the biggest win out of this pandemic as far as digital technology is concerned? The biggest win? I, I love that question. I think the biggest win out of this time is recognizing our human capacity to adapt. And what I mean by that, because in all of my talks, which are called Relentless Adaptation, that's the title of my keynote speeches, I talk about the, the human's ability to be able to adapt to new environments. So whereas 12 months ago, you may have thought, there's no way I could ever wear a mask. I wouldn't be able to breathe. How would I handle this? And then all of a sudden, you're told you have to wear two masks, and you forget that, hey, one was even the norm. So a, a human's ability to adapt to new environments, uh, I think, is a total marvel. And I love to watch how humans are able to do this. We see it with the next generation and we see it with individuals. And I think that just shows how, how strong we are as people to get through tough times like this. I hate to ask it, but you know, when you ask a win question, then you also have to ask the other side, what's the biggest loss? I, I think that the, the biggest uh, loss during this time is uh, human connection and, and loneliness among uh, certain populations. If you look in long-term care as one example, I mean, it's just been devastating to see how isolated the most important generation of our society has been over the past month. So I think the loss is just that, you know, we, we haven't been able to be with our, our loved ones and it's still going to be months in the future before it potentially could be safe. And, and to lose time as a human is something that really hurts you, you know, to go back to the beginning of our conversation, being from Prince Edward Island, I spend time there every year. I haven't seen my parents for more than a year. That's the first time in my life that's ever happened. And so, you know, it kind of hits you in the heart to realize that you've, you've lost time and, and you can never get that back. Yeah, a Zoom meeting isn't the same as a hug, is it? <laughs> it's not, not yeah, at all. <laughs> for sure. I gotta close, we just have a minute and a half left. Uh, so, so let me just ask you this. The, the best advice I think that you could give to people uh, that maybe aren't technically savvy, uh, but want to learn and want to embrace this significant change that has happened? I think the best advice is to not be intimidated by technology and to, to really believe that even if you just start listening to maybe a tech podcast or reading a newsletter um, or paying attention to what's happening in the digital space and kind of pop in for 15, 20 minutes a week to stay on top of it, it is not all that intimidating. You know, um, I was someone who grew up, as you mentioned, in a rural area, never expecting that tech would be part of my life. But I also believe at the same time that we have the capacity to learn anything and lifelong learning has to be a pursuit for all of us in this time of change. Amber, this has been time well spent, a uh, fascinating topic and you have so much enthusiasm for it. I really appreciate the, the comments today.